And I'd like to welcome everybody to the final lecture of the Spotsylvania 300 lecture series. With us today is Lindsay Leach with the Community Engagement and Tourism um, Department with Spotsylvania County. And today she's going to talk about everything special and unique to Spotsylvania's past, present, and future. And we'll hear highlights about the county's 300 year old history while discovering attractions, hidden gem, and what's to become for our beloved county. And Lindsay, over to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate uh, being here tonight. Uh, this has been such a great lecture series so far, and um, it's, it's a real honor to be closing things out for you guys. So, all right, are we uh, have the presentation? Up? All right, there we go. Slide shows up. <laughs> Perfect. So um, first, just uh, thank you to uh, Central Rappahannock Regional Library for hosting this uh, lecture series this past year. Um, it's The library has been such a huge part of the Spotsy 300 celebration festivities, and um, the lecture series has just been, been great all around. We've had some really um, interesting presenters, and I look forward to wrapping things up with you guys tonight. So um, as Kara said, uh, I'm going to take a look at Spotsylvania's past, present, and future. Uh, my name is Lindsay Leach, and I am the Community Engagement and Tourism Manager uh, here at the Community Engagement and Tourism Office with Spotsylvania County. Um, we oversee the Spotsylvania Visitor Center, as well as the Spotsylvania County Museum. Um, and you, our main purpose, our, our goal um, every day that we come to work is to let people know about Spotsylvania County and all it has to offer. Um, we've got tons of great attractions, uh, destinations um, that not only visitor, you know, not only that we want visitors to know about, but the community and longtime residents as well. Tons of hidden gems that uh, people don't realize are in their backyard. So we're going to hit on some of that tonight. Like Kara said, uh, we're gonna talk about celebrating everything special and unique to Spotsylvania's past, present, and future. Uh, we're gonna hit some highlights in Spotsylvania's 300 year history, talk about some local attractions hidden, and hidden gems in the area, and uh, talk about some notable newcomers to Spotsylvania County and things uh, on the horizon that we can look forward to. Um, we're just going to glance over some highlights in Spotsylvania's 300 year history. Hopefully you'll walk away this evening with some new knowledge of our county that you can expand upon or share with family and friends. Uh, you know, my goal is to hopefully uh, have you learn something that you didn't know before. Um, so let's get started. Hopefully by now everybody has learned that Spotsylvania County was established in 1721. Uh, the county is named after a former Lieutenant Governor Alexander Spotswood. Um, the first church was established in Spotsylvania County, the Mattapanai Church in 1725. In 1730, um, the Virginia's first post office was established and uh, Alexander Spotswood was appointed deputy postmaster general uh, under regula regulations of parliament. Um, the, from the post office at the new post area, um, which is how that area got its name. If you're unfamiliar with the new post area, that is located uh, near the intersection of Route 17 and Route 2, uh, close to Belvedere Farm. Um, and we'll talk about some uh, establishments that, that have come about there. Um, but from this new post office at New Post, uh, Governor Spotswood supervised the mail service from Boston, Massachusetts to South Carolina. And in 1737, when a new postmaster was needed for Philadelphia, Governor Spotswood selected a young man named Benjamin Franklin. Um, so put that in the notes for you know one of those fun facts of Spotsylvania. Um, in 1806, Matthew Fontaine Maury is born. And he'd be uh, grow up to be known as the father of modern oceanography. 
Um, he was really into sten uh, stenography and um, did a lot for naval practices. Um, a lot of people don't realize too that Spotsylvania was um, home to a huge mine, a uh, gold mine industry. And where Lake Anna State Park is currently housed um, is where Goodwin Mine was. And that was the largest gold mine in the country in the uh, eight, from 1830 to 1849. So moving into the Civil War history, um, that is uh, Spotsylvania is home to four major battles during the Civil War. Uh, Spotsylvania is often still referred to as the crossroads of the Civil War. Uh, these are some of the most prolific and bloodiest battles of the war uh, that resulted in victories and defeats for both sides. So we've got um, eight, from 1862 to 1864, the Battle of Fredericksburg, Battle of Chancellorsville, Battle of the Wilderness, and the Battle of Spotsylvania Courthouse. So this is where I think things get really interesting and where many people don't uh, know about Spotsylvania's post-Civil War history. Um, you know, knowing that Spotsylvania is most known for Civil War, we kind of stop the history there, um, but we really want to push further with our conversation and acknowledge the many things that happened after the Civil War, um, even into present day. So um, we'll get into it later, but I'd like to just point out real quick that a great deal of these historic landmarks we're discussing are still in existence today. Um, so just keep that in mind and we'll see more about that in a little while. Um, but between 1870 and 1950, education and industry really took shape. Um, Spotsylvania County established its public education system in 1870. Um, and very soon after in 1873, we established the first one room school for black children. Um, and that Schoolhouse still has a replica today um, in front of the Marshall Center at the Spotsylvania Courthouse area. In 1913, the Snell Training School was established, and this is the first high school for Black students. Um, this was under leadership of John J. Wright, who was a prominent educator, and Wright uh, later became a teacher there and then took over as principal. Um, and again, John J. Wright Educational Center and Museum is still standing today and a very prominent um, building that's still used in a museum that's uh, you know visited frequently. In 1930, the Savannah Industrial Corporation, which was a cellophane ma manufacturer, opened in the county and we were very fortunate to have this um, corporation during the Great Depression as it saved the region's economy by providing employment throughout that time. And finally, in 1950, businessman and World War II veteran, Sidney Shannon, establishes the Shannon Airport. Uh, Shannon's father was the first man in the area to own an airplane. Uh, during the Civil Rights Movement from 1963 to 1968, uh, Spotsylvania County had seven black female students leave John J. Wright School to be integrated into formerly all white schools in the county. This happened just one day after Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. And that, uh, and five years later, in 1968, Spotsylvania began the school year fully integrated. So expanding a little bit, um, Spotsylvania is constantly growing, um, but we saw major growth from 1969 to 1976 when the Central Rappahannock Regional Library System is established. And as we all know, it's still very prominent in the community today uh, with m many branches. Um, and in 1972, the Virginia Electric and Power Company, which is now Dominion Energy, created Lake Anna. So Lake Anna is a 13,000 acre 
man-made lake uh, reservoir, and it provides cooling water for Na North Anna Nuclear Power Station, um, which that was its original purpose. But now, um, as many of us know, it has uh, taken on a kind of a world of its own um, and has really grown into a major attraction in Spotsylvania County with plenty of water sports, fishing, um, lake house rentals, uh, weekend getaway uh, location. So that um, was a major addition to Spotsylvania County. And finally, in 1976, Sidney Shannon Jr. opened the first Shannon Air Museum at the, at the Shannon Airport. And bringing us up into present times, um, in 1977, ABC aired Roots. Uh, which was based on Alex Haley's novel. Um, I believe we had an earlier um, 300 lecture series that uh, covered Punta Kente and um, his genealogy. I believe the Virginiana Room uh, did that one maybe last month. Um, that was a really great presentation, by the way. So um, definitely you know, tune into that one if you haven't seen that one yet before. Um, and in 1980, Sears, uh, became the first store of the Spotsylvania Mall and it opened its doors to the public. In 1987, A. Smith Bowman Distillery relocated to Spotsylvania County. Uh, they are still here today and we'll um, talk about them a little later in the presentation as they are again one of the major tourist attractions here in the county. In 1998, President Bill Clinton presented the Presidential Medal of Freedom to Spotsylvania County resident James Farmer for his work as a civil rights leader. And in 2000, Spotsylvania marked its 279th birthday with the burial of a time capsule at the historic courthouse. Um, that time capsule was unearthed this year at the Spotsy 300 celebration. And um, we were able to remove those contents, which will be um, displayed later on at the Spotsylvania County Museum. And uh, we refilled the time capsule and placed it back in the ground, and which will be, uh, which is scheduled to be unearthed again in the year 2121. So um, that was a really, you know, fun, unique uh, thing that I got to be a part of this year. Um, and so if you didn't, you know, if you happen to not be able to go to the Spotsy 300 celebration, please stop by the visitor center. We've got lots of merchandise, um, we've got commemorative uh, newspaper articles and um, lots of stuff that you know you can definitely take with you and, and look at and um, see everything that we did to celebrate. Um, it was just a, a really great day and very interesting. So in 2007, Hugh Fleming, uh, would, who was a former Chick-fil-A manager in Spotsylvania Mall, gave the recipe to the Chick-fil-A sauce, which is now um, you know, widely popular. Everybody has to have some Chick-fil-A sauce when they visit. Uh, that was established and created here in Spotsylvania County. In 2010, Spotsylvania resident Caressa Cameron, she won the uh, Miss America pageant and became the first Black Miss Virginia. And finally, in 2021, Spotsylvania celebrated its 300th anniversary and we unearthed and replaced the 2000 time capsule. We've got some fun photos here to show those more present, uh, his, you know, highlights in history. Oh. Well, sorry about that. We skipped that one, but uh, just some photos from the Spotsylvania 300th celebration. Again, um, that took place on Saturday, September 25th in the Spotsylvania Courthouse area. Uh, we had about 7,000 people in attendance that evening, um, tons of vendors, children's programs, activities, and we ended the night with a wonderful fireworks display. Um, again, if you were unable to make it that day, please stop by the Spotsylvania Visitor Center or the Spotsylvania County Museum, as we still have so many commemorative items, um, merchandise, um, and, you know, we'd love to, to share that 
you know, and have everybody take a little piece of that history with them. So this is where my everyday job steps in, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about present day attractions and destinations here in Tampa. Tower here in their backyard. There's tons of things to do, tons of things to see um, that are just really interesting. So uh, hopefully, again, you'll walk away with something that maybe you didn't know before or didn't realize was here, um, and you know, and you'll hopefully go visit. So, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of the historical landmarks we discussed are still in existence. Uh, that's the really cool part of living somewhere with such a significant history, is we've preserved it and strive to share it on a daily basis. So, um, we're going to watch a little video real quick. Early history uh, in Spotsylvania County's establishment um, through today. Um, we, you know, we talked about John J. Wright in the um, highlights of Spotsylvania County's history, and he was such a prominent figure in Spotsylvania County history, especially with um, integrating schools and education. Um, so that building is still standing, and uh, he is still commemorated each day at the uh, John J. Wright. Cultural Center and Museum. The Shannon Air Museum is located on Route 2. Um, this is aviation history. It's got a wonderful collection of aircraft. Um, that's still a utilized working airport, as well as they have Robin's Nest Cafe. So if you've never been there, um, it is really, really neat. You get to sit and have lunch and watch um, the airplanes come in on the landing strip there. And the, they do a wonderful job at the museum. The docents are always really just enthusiastic. And, um, I, you know, I've been several times and had the story told um, by different docents. And they each, you know, kind of put their own flair on things. And you learn something new every time you go. So highly suggest uh, um, the Shannon Air Museum. It's a just a really fun, really neat um, little hidden gem that we have here, um, as well as the Rappahannock Railroad Museum. Um, this is open uh, Saturday mornings, and they have a great telling of uh, railroad history. Um, they have um, as well as do little yellow trains. So um, especially during the spring and fall, you can hop on one of their little train rides. It's an open air car and um, they'll take you on a little ride and then tell you all about the railroad history um, in Virginia as well as in Spotsylvania County. And our final museum is the Spotsylvania County Museum, which is overseen uh, by the, our department, the Community Engagement and Tourism Department. So 
You see there's that little uh, yellow train car from the Rappahannock Railroad Museum and some of the um, collection of aircraft in the Shannon Air Museum. So the Spotsylvania County Museum is um, located now on Route 3. Uh, it explores the 300 year history of the county, which includes the citizens who had a significant impact on the area, Native American history, Alexander Spotswood and the founding of the county, agriculture, industry, major events, and of course the Civil War. Uh, right now the museum is currently working towards expanding the exhibits to showcase more of Spotsylvania's history during the 20th and 21st centuries. Uh, the museum is in a new location. We moved in September of 2020 to 50, uh, 6159 Plank Road, which was previously the location of the Lick Run Community Center. It's a great location, surrounded by the first day of Chancellorsville Battlefield and across the street, the Battlefield Country Store. So you can stop in, grab you know one of those great sandwiches or ice cream, and then head across the street to the museum and have a picnic before you um, you know, walk in to see the displays. Uh, the first day of Chancellorsville Battlefield, which the County Museum sits on, has a beautiful three mile loop trail. Um, it's a great spot for photos, has plenty of historic wayside signs to interpret the battle. And the museum building is open daily from nine to five with the exception of some holidays. We've also got a find, a seek and find activity for kids and families of all ages. So stop in and learn something new about the county there. And uh, you can see we're on Instagram and Facebook at Spotsylvania Museum. And our website is SpotsylvaniaMuseum.org. So uh, give us a follow. To get a museum um, on the calendar um, that we're excited to share with everyone. So we, of course, have plenty of Civil War history attractions. Um, We appear to be having some technical we've, difficulties. Please stand by. We've got the Stonewatch. Of course, we do have multiple uh, Civil War, War trail markers in Spotsylvania County. There are 14 total. Um, so, and you can get more information about those on our Visit Spotsy website as well. And finally, we have some other historical attractions. Uh, Germana Foundation and the Hit Archaeologi Archaeological Center. If you have not visited this, this is truly one of those hidden gems that is just so neat. They tell a great story of the establishment of the county. They um, are actively um, digging, have archaeological sites there that um, they you know have special days to share with the public um, but it's just a really really neat place and then the hit archaeological center um, has great things that they have you know found um, in their digs as well as replicas of things that people can you know interact with um, and check out there Uh, the African American Heritage Trail is a 12-stop driving tour through rural Spotsylvania County. Um, again, we do have information here at the Spotsylvania Visitor Center as well as the museum, and an interactive map can be found at visitspotsy.com. And finally is a Lake Anna State Park. Um, we're going to hit on Lake Anna uh, a little bit too in our outdoor destinations, but um, I really wanted to mention their gold panning program. Um, I mentioned, you know, before that Lake Anna was home to um, the Goodwin Gold Mine, and they still do a gold panning program at the state park. 
It is ran by their park rangers. Um, they do a really awesome job of explaining, um, you know, just how people got got in, how they got the gold out um, during the gold rush, and then um, you know, take you out and show you how gold was panned. Um, so our um, tourism counselors have gotten the opportunity to uh, recently visit Germana Foundation as well as do the gold panning program. So we um, highly recommend both of those activities. All right, we're moving on to our outdoor spots. Another little video to, to highlight those. All right, again, just a little highlight of some of the outdoor spots in Spotsylvania County. So for uh, trails and green space, we have Lake Anna State Park um, with 11 trails with over 15 combined miles of hiking. They have beachfront swimming, fishing, boating, campsites, cabins, yurts, and lodges all available there. Um, so you can be a guest. Um, overnight, or they do have day passes for all of the activities and uh, boat ramps, um, boat rentals, um, all of that sort of stuff. Um, we have the multiple battlefields, um, all with multiple trails with wayside exhibits and signs. Um, and then our local parks, our local uh, Parks and Recreation Department oversees 11 local parks with different ameni amenities including trails, athletic fields, uh, courts, everything from basketball courts, baseball fields, soccer fields, football fields, multi-use fields, playgrounds. Um, Loreola Park has a swimming pool. Multiple parks have picnic shelters, uh, disc golf, and open green space there. And there's a picture of that uh, great beachfront swimming at Lake Anna State Park. Spotsylvania is home, also home to tons of fishing and water sports. Um, so Nye River Reservoir, as well as Hunting Run Reservoir, um, are both uh, over 400 acre reservoirs with largemouth bass, bluegill, sunfish, chain pickerel, white perch, and crab. They are um, both open seasonally from March to October, and um, you can get really, really affordable season passes for both of those or um, day passes for either one um, if you wanted to go check those out. But really just, I think they're both very scenic, very pretty, um, and, you know, just a great uh, opportunity to get some fish. Um, you know, that picture at the top, you can see uh, my daughter, she caught her fir first fish. So they're really great, especially for uh, anyone with family and children that are uh, trying fishing out for the first time. Um, and then of course, Lake Anna, where there are uh, six marinas offering boat slips, docks, pontoon rentals, jet ski rentals, kayak rentals, uh, canoe and paddle board rentals, as well as uh, fishing guide services.
Um, some final outdoor recreation in Spotsylvania County is Wilderness Presidential Resort and the adventure course there. Um, a lot of people don't realize that the Presidential Resort does have uh, passes for just day passes or for activity passes. Um, mini golf is right out front. Um, you can actually see it from Route 3 and it's like $2 a person. So that's a great evening activity um, to do with your family. There's um, also an escape room, boat rentals, and two fishing lakes. And then there at the Adventure Park, which is at um, Presidential Resort, Wilderness Presidential Resort, they have a ropes course, a climbing wall, and the Goliath Ladder, um, all of which are open to the public um, seasonally. So all, uh, again, just little hidden gems that are in the county that um, anyone with, you know, family or when you have visitors come in from out of town is a great place to check out. Uh, Dominion Raceway is one of our newer uh, additions to Spotsylvania County. Um, that is in the Thornburg area right off of 95. They have an oval course, a street racing uh, course, a road course. They offer um, over 10 rooms with four special events, uh, concerts, event space, and catering. And we also have the Publix Virginia Soccer Training Center, which is in that new post area that we talked about before at 17 Route 2. Um, there are eight full-size soccer fields there and parking for 1,200 vehicles. So they are host to uh, many large soccer tournaments in the area, which is great for um, our tourism industry. And I've been told our um, sound is not working for the videos, but we're going to show it anyways, just for some, some visuals um, as we get ready to talk about our spirits spots in Spotsylvania. So say that five times fast. Spirit spots in Spotsylvania. Again, I apologize about anyone that couldn't hear the uh, sound in the video, but um, just some visuals um, of all the spirit spots that we have here in the county. So um, we do have five wineries. Uh, Bacchus Winery is a really neat one that offers winemaking classes and supplies. Um, if you, you know, are into to wine and want to learn how to make it, um, this is a really great place to, to start and they are super friendly and um, you know, just have a really uh, nice classes there. Um, Eden Tri Winery um, has recently taken new ownership and that is a boutique style winery and event venue on 12 acres that offers a selection of reds and whites with a Garden of Eden theme. Um, they are constantly doing events and um, they recently have uh, partnered with another company and they're offering uh, the teepees out there. So um, it's a great uh, spot, family friendly as well. Uh, Mattapanai Winery is a Native American owned uh, winery specializing in fruit wines and dessert pairings. There's also a Christmas tree farm on site, which is seasonal. Um, so it's a great one to visit. Now, um, last weekend, they had a great um, a French toast pairing with their wines. Um, and so you could eat your French toast, get your Christmas tree, have some wine. Um, so that's just another uh, little hidden gem in Spotsylvania County that everyone should, should try out at least once. 
Lake Anna Winery it offers an array of reds, whites, sweets, and rosés at a scenic vineyard that hosts special events regularly. And Wilderness Run Vineyards is one of our most unique. That is um, a winery brewery combination that is uh, on Route 3 right past the Spotsylvania Museum. Moving on to our breweries in the county, uh, 1781 is that unique brewery that we were talking about that um, is combined with Wilderness Run Vineyards. Uh, they specialize in farmhouse ales made from scratch on their family's historic Spotsylvania farm. Again, located right on Route 3 past the Spotsylvania County Museum. Uh, and our final brewery is the Maltese Brewing Company, which is over on Route 2. Um, this one's near the Shannon Airport, as well as the Rappahannock Railroad Museum. So you can stop at all three on an afternoon. But uh, Maltese is a nano brewery offering a variety of beverages, including IPAs, Saisons, dark ales, hard seltzers, and yes, you're reading that correctly, the world's hottest beer, which is made with Carolina Reapers. Uh, this is all with a fireman theme. Um, so really, another really neat place. And a lot of people are unfamiliar with the Fredericksburg area beer trail, um, the Fab Trail includes breweries from Spotsy, Fredericksburg, and Stafford. You can get a passport and uh, complete the passport to win prizes and use the savings pass for deals and specials at all of those local breweries um, in the region. Um, you can get more information on that at fabtrail.com, or you can, of course, visit the Spotsylvania County Visitor Center. And finally, we did hit on A. Smith Bowman. I told you it would come up again, um, but A. Smith Bowman Distillery is one of Virginia's oldest bourbon companies. It offers complimentary tours and tastings that give a thorough explanation of the history behind the company and their distilling process. Um, again, if you've never visited this, this is, A. Smith Bowman is just a really neat place that um, they do a great job of explaining how their um, you know, products are made, um, they do a lot of events there, so definitely keep an eye out and they make great gifts. So, um, if you're unable to, you know, stay long enough to do the tour, definitely stop in the gift shop, um, for any of those, you know, bourbon or whiskey lovers in your life. Um, they'll make a great gift, especially during this holiday season. So I've mentioned multiple times now the Spotsmania Visitor Center. We are located here at um, 4704 South Point Parkway. We are across the street from Cracker Barrel. Um, we are a state accredited visitor center. That means we carry not only local information, but information on the entire state as well. So we get um, not only visitors from out of town, but we have plenty of information for our local residents when you're traveling to other places um, in the state. Um, we have a gift shop with souvenirs, local merchandise, and Virginia is for lovers merchandise, as well as maps, brochures, and we can offer uh, directions to wherever you're trying to get to. So please come visit us and stop by. Especially um, at our Holiday Open House. Um, that is next weekend, December 10th through 12th. Uh, we have a um, holiday open house at both the Spotsylvania Visitor Center as well as the Spotsylvania County Museum. Um, Santa will be there. We've got um, exclusive sales on merchandise, uh, raffle prizes. So um, it's a great place to find that special gift or a unique gift for the history lover or um, someone, you know, coming from out of town that you want to share a little piece of Spotsylvania or Virginia with. And finally, some additional resources um, to, you know, to find some information on not only the places that I've mentioned so far tonight, but, um, you know, anything else that's in Spotsylvania County is uh, the visitspotsy.com website. 
um, as well as our Facebook and Instagram pages. This is a great way to keep in touch with everything happening in the area. We um, share, you know, tons of uh, local events um, when new things open. Um, and we also have a monthly newsletter, which you can sign up for at um, our, through our website at busy, visitspotsy.com. So we have hit on the past and the present, but what's to come um, in Spotsylvania and the future of Spotsylvania? So we do have a couple of things on the horizon, things to look forward to. Um, a Home Two Suites hotel is will be opening up in Cosner's Corner. Um, they are finishing construction on that, but we're looking um, at that opening in the early um, part of 2022. Uh, Cider Labs also making their presence in Spotsylvania County. They will be um, opening their second location here in um, the Merchant Square Courthouse Village area. Um, again, expected early part of 2022, as well as the Rappahannock Rock Climbing. So this is going to be a 5,000 square foot indoor rock climbing gym. Um, a, it looks really, really awesome. So we're really excited to have them uh, joining our community. Um, they will be located near uh, Maltese Brewing on Route 2. Um, so we welcome them to the county when they open their doors. Uh, again, early part of 2022. Um, everybody's seen some construction going on around Spotsylvania Town Center. Uh, they just had uh, had an opening um, in the mall with the new store Lunchbox. Um, Bravo Italian Restaurant has opened again on the outside. Uh, we are gearing up for the reopening of Logan's Steakhouse, as well as adding LED Restaurant and Lounge uh, to the town center uh, village there. And then uh, probably our biggest um, addition to Spotsylvania County that we are gearing up for is the new VA hospital, which will be located um, between Hood Drive and Route 1. We will see a lot of changes to the Route 1 corridor over the next couple of years, and uh, ground has recently broken for the new VA hospital. So again, a huge addition to Spotsylvania County um, that we welcome here uh, in the next couple of years. So that, that does have a, um, a few year uh, construction project. So, um, you know, we won't see that for, for a little while now, but something definitely to keep our eyes open for. Well, that is all I have for everyone this evening. Thank you guys so much again for having me and for, um, you know, listening this evening to the past, present, and uh, some future things coming here to Spotsylvania County. Uh, again, I'm Lindsay Leach. I'm the Spotsylvania County Community Engagement and Tourism Manager. And uh, please stop by and visit us at the Visitor Center or the Spotsylvania County Museum. And, uh, you know, visit those local places that we have, those hidden gems. Um, you know, don't take for granted what we have in our backyard. So thank you. Sorry. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Does anybody have any questions? Well, I'm very excited um, to visit some of the parks. Um, I've been to L'Oreal, but I'm very interested in uh, visiting some of the others. Um, what are the hours of the Spotsylvania Museum? The Spotsylvania Museum is open seven days a week, nine to five. Uh, currently, we are just closed on New Year's Day, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day. Great. But uh, nine to five. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and type them in the box. Oh, we have a comment from a, a person. I had no idea about some of these places in Spotsylvania County. Thanks for sharing. 
Certainly, yes. Well, I, you know, hit on the big ones, but there's so many more. So again, please visit us at the visitor center or, um, you know, follow our Facebook page or Instagram page or visit our website. Um, there's so much to see in our county uh, that, you know, most people don't realize. Okay. Well, if there are no other questions, we'll go ahead and tune off at turn um, and the broadcast. Thank you all very much for attending. Have a good evening. Thank you.